Ha, <laughs> so as you can see it's my stuff on scratch on scratch I'm quite well known, but I don't exactly know how many followers I have, but here is that number, let's have a look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, no, about eight, eleven followers on scratch. Uh yeah. Of course, uh, I've created uh, quite a lot of operating system emulations in the past. So, of course, the largest one right now is the Chicago OS series, uh, in which we have the basic OS as a beta, which is about to be released. But I've also created quite a couple of smaller operating systems during its lifespan uh, as a beta or beta. Uh, the first one of which I'm going to have a look at right now is uh, Windows 11 20H1 right there, that one. Uh, this is an operating system based on the old, uh, an old Windows 11 project created by a user called Alilne. Uh Yeah, <laughs> his account is now deprecated but I'm still up and running so even when I'm 17 years old, I still find so much fun to use. But let's have a look at Windows 11 20H1 project on Scratch. So yeah, it's 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 like it's gonna take some time. Uh huh. I was about to put the microphone back on center if you heard that, but very sour operating system. And we're going to boot this thing up and see what it has to offer to us. Yeah. Let's have a look. So. Of course, there's an emulation I saw. Press enter to continue here. Natural installation going on, it's just a little simulation of an installation going on. <sighs> yeah. Just gonna wait for it anyway. <coughs> Shut down. So, now let's just wait for it to turn back on. And wait a little bit more, and so now booting up. So there we go. I've got uh, programs: Edge, Gain, Skype, Media Center, Calendar, Calculator, Fast Three, Pinball, Settings. Skudvin, Cure Extractor, CMD, which is command prompt, Media Player, Clock, Notepad, Speak It, Benchmark, and Spreadsheet. Let's start with Edge. So, here we go. Let's see. Xbox.com. Okay, so it goes to the Xbox. <laughs> it's got two games in here. Yeah. Uh, let's try Crash. Do you want to do some Microsoft Crash? Yes. Because we can look at the viruses. Uh, no, no, I'm going to save that one for last. <sighs> the games, of course, for the little maze game I created. Very. It's, it's, it's a little bit simplistic, but. 
You can have a look at it yourself if you want to. Little Pong game as well. Uh, this is actually not quite Pong, but it's actually Break A, uh, but without the blocks. Yeah. It's just bounce a ball, a Pong ball, I guess, up and down in the air. Uh, Skype doesn't work. Uh, calendar is just going to enable a little variable in the down right corner. Or we'll turn it off. Calculated basic full function calculator. So let's try 12. Hit OK. Which can also be the right arrow on a keyboard. So minus 5. Right array. There we go. Click all correct. 12. Divided by zero. Uh oh. Dividing by zero is impossible. Yeah, I've heard that, of course. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm not hearing you, but I might hear it twice once through the direct feed through a free command and once through the microphone. Uh, which, by the way, is no longer new. Here's the notepad. Okay, so something. One, two, three, four. And it's save. And it allows me to override an existing file or create a new one. Let me create a new one. The name of one, two, three, four. Did you see that little percentage indicator? It is very important. So, go to files. Because now we can open up that file which has 20, were, uh, 20 entries in it, so to speak. Yeah, click on it. You want those little sliding things? I'm trying to open something, but it, it, it doesn't work. So I have to open it up from the program I made it with. So I hit load. Computer. Open. It's now loading up the file. And. Yeah, test one, two, three, four. Uh, same thing with spreadsheet, which doesn't have any special features cells in the system, but it does have a virtual keyboard. Uh, yeah, and the media player, which contains music, but I'm not going to play that music because otherwise I might get a copy claim, content ID stuff. I I know it's there for good reason, but I hate getting a copyright claim. Okay, so. Little cure extractor. If you ever click Scratching Dawn, it's an infected application. So, cure extractor can cure it. Uh oh. Hopefully. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yep, finally. There's a very slim chance of it working, actually. Here's the settings uh, wallpaper. Transparency doesn't work, but I can use the classic. Windows 95 taskbar, uh, password of course, safety reasons, and uh, yeah, that's what I want to show. There's more in here, but I'm going to shut it down now. Not wait for that, I'm going to instead go straight to Pangia uh, 2.0 mini RTM. <laughs> I was created around a beta. And it's actually so active uh, on the page of the deprecate account Alina under the name Alione under the name Pangia 2 PE for public release. Uh, and it's actually in the uh, Surfing Flam Flim Flam fan club. Surfing Flam being the first one to create Pangia. Uh, also known as Revworks Animations. So again, it's a bit of waiting here. Don't mind those clicks. So I do something with myself. Yeah, but 
This is an unofficial project, but nonetheless, it is one of those I have created. I guess I have to use F or something like that in order to start the setup of this thing. Uh, because again, all my operating systems now come with a built in installer. So let's go to number two, Pango 2 SATA program. Spacebar. And it's rotating a. Pangir 2 Mini. Now, this is a proper mini operating system. Uh, yeah. Here are my files, very simple, no applications there. Yeah, Pumpkin Avoid, it's a very fun game where you just do it. Pumpkins. I don't even know about music, so I'm going to mute it. Then of course there's the setting player can choose different wallpaper and that's it. P Brazer, scratch me you remade. Uh, that seems like a bug out of a top end. Uh, media player, of which I'm not playing any songs and games in the content ID system. Uh, there's an antivirus program built in which is now turned off. Because I've I've built in a white base emulation system. Uh, white base is a very old operating system that seems to be almost deprecated. I want to put it back into uh, daylight, uh, into the white light of day. So I, I built this operating white base system. system. Yes. So very simple, just a couple of applications you could have a look at. And you can install the applications from uh, white base. So. This is a virus, it is going to crash the computer, but I am going to restart it, so it says you cannot stop me. Ha 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 ha. Okay, so kernel find, starting kernel. Uh, it does take a real while to boot up, by the way. One. And that's the antivirus. It, it, it can uh, uh, delete a virus. It can kill a virus task when opened. Warn the user. So I'm going to do that one. So it's going to say caution. Someone or something attempted to open virus and yada yada yada. <laughs> you want to continue. These do cause real damage to the virtual system. Then there is Windows Next. Which is a very small operating system again. Actually, Minecraft Win 98 it says it's awesome. Uh, he's the creator of the original John OS, of which Chicago Beta OS has been made. Uh, yeah. But here's Windows Next, another operating system. That's why I created completely myself. And, yeah. There we go. Starting up, it, it do used to have a setup, but it is so old, and so obsolete. In fact, it introduced a special kind of window minimization to my process. If I click the minimization button, the window doesn't go to the taskbar or disappear. Instead, it becomes this little mini bar that you can move around. Clock, September 7th, 2021, and it's the time. Media player, <laughs> not gonna play any of his music, but I really do love the music from Jimmy Buffett. Uh, and a little time. Oh, and the settings for 
Basically. Oh, and a little lockup feature which allows me to activate the screen server with a very simple bounce word with one, two, three, three, two, three, three. And when I click on it, it asks for a password. So that's a great little security feature. And of course, I have started another new one based on. A John OS system against Chicago Workstation OS. And I'm not going to have a look at it because it's in alpha, but it is available on my profile, and I will link my profile in the video description here so I could have a look at any of my projects, operating system or otherwise. Uh, I've got around 41 projects shared, uh, but some of them are in Dutch, but most of these are in English and especially operating system simulations of course so I proceed next time bye I hope you've enjoyed this video if you do please give a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel thank you and I'll see you next time